Hi everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here, and I'm gonna talk about why somebody would buy a VPS from like a full featured cloud platform company like Amazon's AWS, you know, Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud Platform. Okay, so why someone would use that, like buying a VPS from Amazon or Google Cloud versus a more traditional VPS company like Linode or DigitalOcean or uh, Vulture, did I open it up? Yes, or UK, or Vulture. So uh, what's the difference? What's the difference? Uh, where does it, you know, wh wh where do we notice the difference in price and performance and, and the features and what they offer? So right off the bat, I'm gonna say, uh, the traditional VPS companies to me, the traditional VPS companies to me, like Linode, DigitalOcean, Vulture, they're like data center companies. I see them as, as big data center companies. And what they do is it's kind of like more physics. It's more chemistry. They, you know, they, they have computer hardware, they have networking, right? They, everything's got to be connected. And then there's like the whole cooling, right? They have to keep those things super cool. They have to make sure there's tons of electricity that goes through there. And then of course, there's a little bit of a digital infrastructure, right? To, to have all their, their hardware, everything's virtualized, everything's connected. And then you have a nice, you know, GUI to control your VPS from. So that's kind of how been traditional VPS companies have occurred to me. Um, and a lot of their benefits is in the performance of their hardware, their hardware performance, right? So as high powered servers, good speeds, uh, good processing power, and then good bandwidth, right? Good network and, and, and low DNS latency latency. So I feel like that's where that's where their strengths are, that's how their prices are. Their prices are geared towards like the size of their servers. Okay, let me see if I can uh let's let's jump through here. And okay, so you know they're, they're pricing set this way and they and they don't have like that many things. You you just you're buying VPS instances and that's it. You're buying virtualized instances, little mini servers, if you will. And you can get some like just for basic uh, computing and, and, and processing needs. You can also uh, get some for dedicated computing needs or like for a uh, for graphic, you know, graphic processing or high memory or in some cases like DigitalOcean, they, they have, you know, a ton of other products. Right. So they have um, little containers and load balancers and special firewalls or like managed databases or storage you know and then um same thing so some of the others you know so they, they have that's it that's but basically it's small instances used for whether web servers or or for databases and whatnot and then okay that that's how, so we've got the traditional guys out of the way and then now you have the crazy full featured like full cloud platform cloud everything so what do they offer right so these guys like Amazon, it's just a ton analytics. They've got like a million options, applications, a million options of pricing and blockchain and compute. They've got all kinds of different services. So, so all this right here would have been like just digital ocean alone. Then they've got database. There's like architecture, memory, caching, um, developer tools, end user computing. They, they've got workspaces, gaming stuff, mobile. Uh, it's just a million, it's very overwhelming. And in fact, I logged in already. I'm logged into my account here. And it's funny because they've redesigned this. It used to be so overwhelming. Like you would go in here and your head would just, it would just spin because of all the options. So th this is what all their services are. Um, and let's, let's go to EC2. And let's just, I'm just going to click on that, right? They have buckets, they have storage. I mean, it's, it's so overwhelming. You launch an instance and then you have to like configure it and set permissions, who has access to what and what can they do? So it is extremely, extremely, um, it's very complex. I, I, I know maybe like 2% of it, right? I've used maybe 2% of it probably. Okay. I've, I've used what EC2, uh, light sail, cloud front S3, maybe like one or two oh, oh, uh, the uh, SES, their email thing. And that's about it. Okay, so now Google Cloud, which is a, a little bit newer, they came after Amazon. And here's their thing, right? 
So they're trying to be easy, but um, they, you know, they, they try to design it to be friendly, but it still looks really overwhelming. Let's go through all their products. And um, it, it's kind of nice. They're using a little bit more normal, you know, um, just more common terms like compute, data analytics, databases, developer tools, hybrid, multi-cloud. So, so you, uh, you can see where I'm going with this. Um, what does all this mean for the end user, for the average person? The average person who just needs a high performance VPS, nothing more, high performance VPS, clean and simple to use, not so expensive, great bang for the buck, go with a traditional VPS company. It's gonna be so much easier, the interface is easier, uh, the setup is easier, easier to work with. And not only that, but the traditional VPS companies are actually cheaper than, the, uh, than Amazon and Google. So that's kind of funny. People think that Amazon and Google is better performance or cheaper because they have the size of scale, but it's not true. Uh, Lenovo, DigitalOcean, and you know the, all the other guys, they are cheaper and better. For the same money, I, I, you can't say cheaper and better, they're cheaper. For the same money, you would get better performance with the other guys. So um, why is that? Why is that? I think uh, the other companies, what they are is they're basically hardware, they're hardware vendors. What they're doing is they're creating hardware infrastructure, virtualizing it, but really you're paying for hardware infrastructure, right? So they build that and then they lease it to you at a higher cost than what it costs them. But with Amazon and Google Cloud Platform, what you're paying for is not hardware. You're paying for their, their digital infrastructure. You're paying for their like their their integration with all their other services, and for that it costs more. You're not buying hardware from Google. When you buy a Google uh, a Google VPS or a Google Virtual Instance, what you're paying for is not only for the VPS, but for all the 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 easy, simple, right, simple, easy integration with the rest of Google Cloud services. So, <laughs> so what does that what does that mean? Um, so for example, if I wanted to like, for example, what, if I was somebody who wanted to buy, uh, you know, wh what's the best uh, customer for like AWS? It would be like, say, if I wanted to buy, you know, to provision a VPS with Amazon, EC2 or LightSail, but I also wanted to connect it with their database servers and, and then also with their S3, like, you know, storage, and then also with their, whatever, their user workspaces and et cetera, et cetera. Like I wanted to chain three, four, five different cloud services together. Then in that case, it would be a much, you know, it would be a benefit to do it through Amazon because it's just so much easier to connect and the permissions and all that. And it would work nicely together, right? So for that reason, when you see big companies, um, let's, so let's say for example, let's, let's take a, a nice big hosting company like Kinsta. They use, uh, sorry, let's see. Kinsta uses Google Cloud. Let me see if I can find it. La, 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 la. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Here we are. So Kinsa uses better hosting cloud, blah, 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 reduces hosting costs. Um, yeah, perhaps it, it can, it can reduce your costs if you're spending so much money having to integrate like a million different services and things. So yes, it can scalable, affordable, fast. Um, okay. Advantages. So, you know, they're going to tote, uh, these web hosts, they're going to tote that, that the advantages in better pricing. Um, you, you know what? There might be truth to it. There might be, it might be that Google and Amazon are, are giving better pricing to large companies than they would to small little guys like you and I. Okay. And blah, blah, blah. Improved state of the art security redundant. I mean, they're, they're just trying to sell to you. I believe they're doing it just because all the services are integrated. They're a large company. They have information data all over the place that it just makes more sense. Right. And especially with Google cloud, because you're using like, you know, their G Suite, even basic things, right? Their, their email platform, their, their Google Docs platform. So it's just easier for, for these big companies to use a full function, one cloud platform for all their, their, their digital services, for all their, their web services. Um, 
Here's another reason why I think these large companies would use Amazon or Google. So I would go here and let's look at this. So if you look at uh, Vulture, they have North America. It's very common. Many VPS companies have stuff in North America and Canada. And then they've got European locations, right? Mostly Western Europe. They'll have something like this. And then they'll have like one or two in Asia, right? They'll have like, like a Tokyo one, a Singapore, maybe a Hong Kong one. Let's see, what, let's see where uh, DigitalOcean has theirs, right? They've got uh, Singapore, India. That's cool. Uh, where's, where's this guy? Where's their status? Speed, okay, system status. And usually there you can see all their, their regions, okay? So, um, you know, some, some will have like, usually they'll have just this, and then some will even have like one in Australia. But if you notice, none of them have it here or here. And this is a big market, and guess what? Guess what Google has? And actually, we don't need to, to go to the Google site because Kins has got a very convenient map for us. There you go. So um, a lot of times, I think also the other web hosts will use Google or Amazon for because they, they, you know, they, they need uh, an easy location in South America. Um, and why don't the other traditional VPS companies have a location in South America? Because they're, they're data center companies. And to have a reliable data center, you, have a, you need to have a reliable inf infrastructure for like electricity, um, actually just electricity. And there are places in the world where electricity is still not as stable. It's still not as reliable. I have some friends and coworkers in South America or even Central America, and they have power outages all the time. So, you know, uh, Linode and DigitalOcean, their customers have been begging them to open up a data center location down in South America, and they haven't been able to do so just because uh, I, I will assume because they don't, their local government, you know, their, their infrastructure is not there yet. But someone like Google and Amazon, they have so much money. They can go down there. They will build the road. They will build the city. They will build the power lines. They'll build the power generator generators. And then also because they're such a big name, they can make so much money and recoup all. It's worth the investment for them. So I think for that reason, that's why some of the large companies use uh, Google and Amazon for their servers and data centers. But for a smaller guy like you and I, you go with DigitalOcean, Linode, uh, the traditional VPSs, you'll probably save 50% on your, um, your data center costs, your, your server costs. So uh, I, I think this is a really long <laughs> explanation for such a simple question, but uh, that's how I would divide the two. If you need to integrate a whole bunch of web and cloud services together, then, then Google Cloud or Amazon might be a better choice for you just because it simplifies crazy, right? Simplifies the, the complexity. But if all you need is just VPS, you just need a server, that's it. You don't need to integrate all kinds of crazy stuff. Then using the traditional VPS providers would be cheaper and better performance for your company. And that is all. Thanks for watching.